Welcome to Casserole. We wanted to get you kick-started on your first application today. So we're going to build a, the Bay Area Pizza database. So this is a great app for people to come see what local pizzerias people have rated well and uh, like to eat. So to get kick-started, the first thing you'll need to do is to go into Casserole and build your first project, add your first project. You can do that from scratch or you can actually upload a spreadsheet of information to kind of get you kick-started. So today we'll use the from scratch method. We'll add our first title. So this is our pizza database. And then we need to go about adding our first table. So tables are where we store all of our data in Casserole. So any data that's displayed in your apps is going to be in some form of a table. You can have multiple tables or just one single table. You can have multiple apps built on those tables. So we'll get started by adding the, number, the fields that we need in our tables. So we'll add the pizzeria name field, uh, want a website address so people can find more, more information about the pizzeria. We'll find add the physical address so people can actually go to the pizzeria. And then finally, a rating field so people can get a quick idea of the quality of the pizzeria. As you can see here, you've got on the lower right hand corner uh, some blurred out data. That is actually sample data. It's basically just to give you an idea of what's in your table. It's not real data, uh, but just kind of visualize for you what you're building. So now we'll build our first application back from the uh, project section. We'll name our application the Bay Area Pizza app. And then you want to add screens. So screens are the way that people actually view the data and manipulate the data in your app. So the first screen we'll add is a list view. Uh, basically, this is just a, a as it sounds, a, a view of all of the, Bay, in this case, Bay Area pizza restaurants. You can uh, publish this for people to see on the internet and begin to utilize the data. In this case, on, from the list view, we'd like you to be able to click on an individual record and actually view more information. So maybe we want to share more reviews or uh, some more information about each restaurant that we don't want on the list view. Now that you've built your first list screen, let's add an entry screen. The entry screen is a form which allows your users to interact with your application. In this case, they can actually add their own pizzeria so that others can see great pizzerias in the Bay Area. And now we're ready to launch our first application. So uh, when you click launch, you're going to get a website URL. It's a public URL unless you were to put it behind a username and password that people can begin to use your app. Uh, as you initially saw there was the list. It was, of course, blank because we don't yet have any pizzerias. And so uh, we've added an entry field so you can go ahead and begin to add new pizzerias to our database. So after we add the rating here, we'll add our first pizzeria. And there you go. You've built your first app and gotten kickstarted.